Renaming a part in SolidWorks Explorer has the added benefit of searching for other documents, such as assemblies and drawings, that might be affected by the name change. Another benefit is that the entire procedure can be done without opening a single SolidWorks file. Here, I have my simple assembly made up of three parts. Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3. I also have a drawing of the component, Part 3. What I'll be doing is changing the name of Part 3 and updating both the assembly and the drawing so their pointers will remain intact. The first step is to close all files involved. The one thing you must know about SolidWorks Explorer is that it only works on closed files. Next, I'll launch SolidWorks Explorer and browse for Part 3, the part I wish to rename. To rename a file and update it anywhere the file is used, click on it and select the SolidWorks Rename icon on the mini toolbar. Note that this is not the same as just simply renaming the file name, as you ordinarily would in Windows Explorer. To maintain all of the pointers and references, make sure you click the SolidWorks Rename icon. When I do, a window appears showing me everywhere the file is referenced. I'll enter the new name, 456-7. The idea behind where used is for SolidWorks to look at assemblies or drawings, examine their pointers, and see if any of them are looking at a component called Part 3. This way those documents will be notified that Part 3 has changed names, and their pointers will be updated. The scope of the where used search is something you control manually. Now This is very important, because if you don't tell SolidWorks to search in the right place, you can easily miss an assembly or drawing. By default, SolidWorks will only look within the folder where the part is saved. If you wish to expand the Where Used Search criteria, be sure to set it up in SolidWorks Explorer Options. Any document with a check in front of it will be updated, so it looks at the new part name. In this case, I'd like to update both, so I'll leave them checked. All I have to do now is click OK. The part is renamed, and the pointers in both the assembly and drawing have been updated as well. If you'd like to verify this, click Browse to bring up the assembly and show its references. 456-7 is now listed as a reference and not Part 3. In fact, Part 3 no longer exists. SolidWorks Explorer did not create a copy of Part 3 called 456-7. It simply renamed the existing file.